guys, Daniel Bedar here. Wanted to talk to you today about a little variation on the Steve Gadd lick I shared with you recently. Uh, the Steve Gadd lick was this right, left, left, kick, kick, left, right. Right, left, left, kick, kick, left, right. So basically it was a six stroke roll where instead of playing two rights, we're playing two kicks. Okay. So now what we'll do is that we'll add a three note uh, pattern to this, which will be right, left, left. Okay, so then instead of having a six note lick, we'll have a nine note lick. So this way the beats, the accents will fall uh, on the beats differently. Okay, so uh, to make it like a one bar phrase, what we'll do is that we'll play the nine note lick twice and then we'll finish on the fourth beat with a six stroke roll. Okay, so the whole thing will be right, left, left, kick, kick, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, kick. Right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, one. Okay? Let me play that on the snare drum and kick. So let's see what, what, what it sounds like. play it a little bit faster now, okay? Okay, you could also play the accents on the toms uh, to make it sound different. So. Okay, and play whatever actually uh, you feel like. Uh, this could be fun, uh, used as a, uh, as a fill, like so. Okay, uh, that's it. So that, that, that's, uh, that's a lick. Um, I'll include a notation on the page a little bit later so that you can, you can actually see uh, what it looks like. Um, if you have any questions regarding this pattern, feel free to write to me as usual. Uh, I'll try to make it clearer for you if needed. So in the meantime, go practice, uh, take it slow at first, and enjoy that new idea which can be added to your uh, drumming library. Okay, so uh, take care and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.